for today's headlines, Pala says ICC will reject drug probe. China has key to NGCP. Duterte puts stake on Romualdez for VP. Energy not profit security imperative. Drelon backs one opposition call. Gila's first of two rivalry games versus Korea. Biden says tone of Putin talks was good, positive. Southwest monsoon affecting northern Luzon. Good morning. I am Sandy Locos and you are watching Tribune News on Q. Today is Thursday, June 17, and now the news. Malacanang on Wednesday expressed confidence that the International Criminal Court will reject its chief prosecutor's request to launch an investigation into President Rodrigo Duterte's anti-drug campaign. Duterte's spokesperson, Secretary Harry Roque, said the probe won't proceed since the majority of the information cited in the preliminary examination supposedly came from news reports and that the government would refuse to cooperate with any investigation in the ICC May launch. On Monday, former ICC Chief Prosecutor Fatou Ben Soda, whose term ended today, formally asked the Hagway-based court to open a full investigation into the alleged crimes against humanity committed under the administration's anti-narcotics drive. He added that the ICC's pre-trial chamber would likely deny Ben Soda's request due to its lack of forensic evidence and primary documents. Aside from the billions in lost revenues, China holds the key to the National Grid Corporation of the Philippines, putting national security at risk and the country's public and business interest in the hands of an alien player. Concerns were raised on Wednesday by several industry stakeholders, including government officials, as they disclosed the alleged intrusion into the national grid system. They said that if abused, the setup may lead to deliberate power interruptions that would adversely affect economic recovery, especially during these times of a pandemic. A Daily Shibin source also warned that China does not need a remote switch to turn off the power in Manila. He also pointed out that the State Grid Corporation of China has four seats in the 10-man NGCP board, including one who sits as a chair. While President Rodrigo Duterte thought it was a good idea to join the vice presidential race, he won't seek the post if House Majority Leader Martin Robaldes decides to run in next year's elections. The President declared in a speech on Wednesday that he would support the lawmaker in his possible vice presidential bid. The President made a remark in Malacanang during the ceremonial signing of four new laws that was attended by lawmakers and local officials including Romualdez. Duterte recalled his promise of support to the lawmaker, which he had made during the intense House speakership race among Romualdez, Taguig City Representative Alan Peter Cayetano, and Marinduque Representative Lord Alan Velasco in 2019. Cayetano and Velasco shared the speakership, but not after a controversial withdrawal by Cayetano from the agreement when he was the House leader already. Cayetano was then ousted by a great majority of the members of the House who protested the way he hugged the post. Tribune News on Q will be back after these reminders.
long distance easy with the Mirage G4. Fiber is the free and secure way to connect with friends and family anywhere. Send messages and make phone and video calls for free. Download Viber now. Putting energy, energy security back in the hands of the government is the ultimate solution to the recurring problem of brownouts rather than the stopgap measures of the National Grid Corporation of the Philippines, an energy official said. NGCP has relented as it indicated on Tuesday that it will now hold a competitive bid for ancillary service contracts needed to maintain reserve power after the Daily Tribune ran a series of reports on the violation of its concession agreement with state-owned National Transmission Corporation. Among these breaches is NGCP's failure to obtain as contracts that would provide standby electricity ready for dispatch during supply shortfalls. Transco President Melvin Matibag countered that energy security should be in the hands of the government because it is a function of the state. In other news, Senate Minority Leader Franklin Drelon has his fingers crossed that Vice President Lenny Robredo will consider running for president in the May 2022 national election. Drelon one of the leading figures of the Liberal Party believes that Robredo remains the strongest candidate to challenge the administration's bets and can unite all the non-Duterte candidates. The minority leader clarified that the LP is yet to decide on its roster but assured Robredo of support if she decides to seek the highest post. Robredo has not confirmed any plan after the expiry of her term but has repeatedly said she is open to all options. In May, the vice president emerged as the top pick among the preferred candidates in the 2022 presidential race during an online pre-election survey conducted by Filipinas2022.ph, a still obscure survey group. SJ Belangal emerged as the hero with a buzzer-beating game winner for the Philippines as they beat Korea 81-78 in a match that was as intense as advertised. The Asia Cup 2017 bronze medalist Korea came bursting out of the gates to a 21-12 first quarter, sparked by senior national team debutant Lee Yoon Jung. The youngster scored 7 points of his 15 points in just the opening interval of the contest. Despite the slow start, the Philippines never bowed down and fought their way back into the game after being down by as much as 17 points. It was Dwight Ramos who led the rally and tied the game up in the third quarter with a fantastic play. Ramos finished the game with 16 points and 5 rebounds. We will be back. Stay with us. Hatch something big! The all-new Honda City Hatchback with four seating modes. Utility mode, long mode, tall mode, refresh mode. The all-new City Hatchback. Hatch more life. On the road, I can expect high performance from Phoenix Fuels. Now with Pulse Technology, delivers enhanced power and acceleration to make every trip come alive. U.S. President Joe Biden said on Wednesday that discussions in his first summit with Vladimir Putin were positive, but warned his Russian counterpart that Washington would not tolerate interference in U.S. democracy. The meeting in an elegant villa overlooking Lake Geneva came at a time when tensions between Washington and Moscow are at their highest in years, 
and Biden acknowledged there had been a number of disagreements. For Washington, a key complaint is what it characterizes in persistent and combative Russian cyber activity, namely meddling and interference in elections, that it says have been carried out either by Russian security services or hackers with links to the Kremlin. Biden stressed that he made it clear to Putin that he will not tolerate attempts to violate their democracy or it destabilized their democratic elections and that they would respond. The two leaders agreed to task experts to help build a common understanding about what's off limits and to follow up on specific cases that originate in other countries in either of the two countries. Southwest monsoon is currently affecting northern Luzon, while Metro Manila and the rest of the country have partly cloudy to cloudy skies with isolated rain showers or thunderstorms. The country's temperature will range from 27.4 degrees Celsius to 33.4 degrees Celsius. And that wraps up the stories this morning. Catch the latest news on our website, tribune.net.ph, and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, Tribune Now. The Daily Tribune is one with the nation in facing the COVID-19 crisis and in line with this, the Daily Tribune Digital Edition on Press Reader is now available for free online. You can also download the Daily Tribune app on Apple Store or Google Play to get the latest and most comprehensive news online. Daily Tribune is also inviting everyone to join its community Viber Kachibu to get updates on the freshest and hottest news and entertainment stories of the day. Parasita emoticons are also available on our community Viber. Just visit the sticker store and search for Kachibu Community. And before we go, we would like to thank the SM Store and Araneta Center. Again, this is Sunday Locus and you are watching Tribune News on Q. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay at home. Good morning and have a nice day.